Hi there and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you the publish UI feature added to version 3.1 of UI Studio inside the UI Builder. Now the publish UI feature is designed for workflows where you have a separate development server and a separate production uh, server where your designers are creating the templates and doing experiments and tests and all the development work on a separate server and then at some point need to be able to push these changes to the remote uh, production server. So we've made that process a lot easier uh, and safer to make sure you don't lose any work when working with the Reza Studio and UI Builder. So here I have my local server. This is gonna be my development server for this example. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new template. I'll call it Publish Demo and hit Create. And I'm just gonna create a very simple UI here. Let's uh, add a button and a text input and go ahead and save it. So this is my local development server and here I'm going to open up my remote production server. So I'm going to log in, go to the UI builder. And if I go ahead and open the user interfaces, we see that it's currently empty. So back in my development server, this is the uh, UI that I want to publish. I'll go to the menu here and select the new publish UI option in the menu. The first step is to select the remote server that I want to publish my UI to. So this is providing a IP and a port, okay? And the username login to be able to connect to that server. If everything works correctly, we move on to the next step, which is the UI info. I'll provide it a UI name. I'm just gonna keep this the same and give it a revision, version one, and hit next. And now I get a summary of the action I'm about to take, which is publishing a UI with the name and the version uh, revision name. I can go ahead and click publish if everything looks good. And I get a message that it was success successfully published. I can now open up the remote UI manager and we see that we have the UI added to our list here. I can go ahead and click it to open it and we see that we have our UI. The important thing to notice is if we open up the revisions tab, we have the revision created version one. So now if I'm the designer and I add or make a change to my uh, UI here, and I wanna go ahead and publish these changes, I'll again go to the publish UI option, put in the IP address and port number of the server I want to connect to. And now because I already have a UI called publish UI on our remote uh, production server, we get a warning that we're gonna be overwriting this UI. So I'll give it an additional uh, revision name. So this is going to be version two. I'll hit next. Again, we get the summary. If everything looks correct, I'll go ahead and click publish and click done. I'll now re refresh UI Builder on the remote server. And again, go to the, we see now that we have the changes. We have the dial that we added. And I can go to the revisions tab and we see that our previous changes are still stored inside this UI. So if we need to go back, because there was a mistake or something and our production is being affected, I can just double click on the version one revision, click yes, and it'll bring us back to that previous version. If I wanna go back to the latest revision, again, just double click on the revision in the revisions list and click yes, and it'll bring us back to that uh, revision. Okay, so now the last case I wanna show is if we make changes on our uh, public uh, production UI on the production server, I don't know, someone went in there and added some changes. So I'm going to hit and save. And also on our uh, local, uh, on our development server, we also made the changes to the UI. So we now have a conflict between the two, two UIs. Again, I'll go to the publish UI. Put in the IP address and port. Again, we get the warning that the template already exists on our remote uh, production server. I'm gonna call this revision three. Now we have an additional step because our remote UI, this, uh, the, the UI has changes that were made. So it's gonna ask us if we, if we wanna back up these changes in a revision. I'll say yes. I'll call this remote V1. Click publish. We get the summary. I'll click publish again and click done. Again, I'll refresh, refresh UI Builder. We now have our latest UI version, version three, with the joystick that was added. If we now look at the revisions list, we see that two additional re revisions were added. The version three that we 
created during the production uh, to, during the publish modal process. And we also have this remote v1. The remote v1 is our remote changes that were saved into a revision. So if any work was done and we need to ju jump back to it because we don't want to lose it, we can easily do that inside the revisions list. That brings us in the, uh, to the end of this uh, example video. Thank you for watching and keep your eyes out for new changes added to version 3.1. You can visit our documentation to see the full change list.